loads and loads of new Pokemon animation. The latest in the line of Pokemon Funko Pops was released, and hitting shelves are Pokemon Oreos. Stay tuned for lots of bite-sized fun, Pokemaniacs. It's your news recap. Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. It is one of the better weeks. We've got loads and loads of lots of interesting, cool Pokemon news. Always love when it's like more than just the video games and the cards. But if this is the first time you're joining me, I am Pokemaniac Steven, and here we love all things Pokemon. So if you love Pokemon cards, Pokemon collectibles, and the Pokemon games, make sure you're subscribed and catch all of the videos. So moving quickly into it, we're going to our Pokemon animation news. Pokemon the movie Secrets of the Jungle is finally coming out in English, and it's coming to Netflix on October 8th. The movie is centered around a human boy who was raised by the Pokemon Zarude, the mythical Pokemon, and of course Ash and Pikachu stumble across them in their Pokemon journey. The soundtrack for the movie is also already available through most of the popular streaming platforms if you wanted to check those out. And make sure you're signed up for the Pokemon Trainer newsletter. If you sign up before September 25th, you should, fingers crossed, get a code to get Shiny Celebi as well as Dada Zarude. Now, both of these Pokemon uh, throw up like what they come with, the stats and all of that. But Shiny Celebi, extremely rare to come by unless you paid for it in Pokemon Go. And Zarude, it was released a little bit earlier, but I mean, that was a whole fiasco. So this is our next attempt to get Zarude. The email will include a code for Sword and Shield, so you can just put in the mystery gift code and download them straight to your game. Pokemon Master Journey is out on Netflix. Netflix quickly becoming our choice for more modern Pokemon anime. But Master Journey is released, and if you haven't started watching any of those episodes, what are you waiting for? I mean, me personally, I'm waiting for some time to actually sit down and watch it. Adulting, man. Gets in the way of all the fun stuff. Over on YouTube, though, Pokemon Evolutions released their first episode. This one following the moments of Leon after his run-in with Eternatus. It does show flashbacks to that battle and how it all kind of played out. But a little bit of spoilers here, so if you haven't watched it, feel free to skip ahead a little bit. But I really like that they explored the psyche and, and the headspace that Leon was in after that whole battle. It was kind of like the first time he's ever really had to deal with losing, and uh, it was, but it was in this like really private scale. It wasn't like in front of everybody. But I love seeing him get to like rely on his Charizard. His Charizard knows he's not doing well, but Charizard throws the cape on him. They know they can do it together, and it's just super cool to see him push through that mental barrier and like still walk out onto the field, everybody cheering, still calling him the undefeated champ. He walks out there for that battle. It's only seven minutes long, but. It was really good. And speaking of really good, we got our newest Poketune over on the Japanese official Pokemon channel. There's a new 15 minute long adventure which shows this group of kids. Uh, they hear all of these uh, ghost stories about their school and they want to go out and explore and find out if the stories are true. But then one of the kids gets turned into a Gengar. Watch the episode to find out more and how it all kind of plays out. But honestly, it was really good. There was laughs, there was action, there was tender moments. It's got it all. Taking it over to video games. Pokemon Unite got a, at least in my opinion, controversial update. A lot of in-game fixes and additions to the shop, but we also have this big buff to Blissey. So Blissey's special defense is getting boosted and some extra buffs to safeguard. At least when I'm playing, not too many people are running Blissey, so I guess that's kind of good, but, but this could be an incentive to go purchase the character. And uh, if it's anything like Wigglytuff or any of the other more defensive Pokemon, oof, they're really hard to beat. But, speaking of defenders, Slowbro has some new holo wear in the game. Ready for the poolside, or maybe the gym, this new outfit. Looking pretty good on Slowbro, I think. Walmart finally deciding to showcase their pre-orders for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They're giving away this three pen set with purchase of the dual pack. Pens look pretty good, but tell me, do you think it's too late? Have you already put your pre-orders in? Is this enough to pull you from all of the other pre-orders that are out there? Let me know down in the comments. Duskull is going to be our next Community Day Pokemon in Pokemon Go. October 9th will be our next Community Day, and when you evolve your Dusclops into a Dusk Noir, it's going to learn Shadow Ball. Really powerful charged attack, so we'll see later on once the stats get analyzed if that's even worth any good. But also, we're getting three times Catch Stardust during the event, so it's pretty good. Pretty good reason to play. Go just start spamming those Pokeballs, better start loading up now. And over to carts. There is definitely no shortage to uh, options when it comes to purchasing Pokemon Celebrations promo boxes. So here's another one. Amazon getting their own exclusive box, all based around Dragapult Prime. Amazon Prime. Dragapult Prime. 
Anyways, the box includes Dragapult Prime, four oversized cards of Light Toxtricity, Hydreigon C, Mimikyu, whatever this symbol is, uh, Dragapult Prime, and three Celebrations Booster Packs, two other Booster Packs, and all of the contents from the regular Collector's Chest for Celebrations. It's also going to come with a four pocket binder, a jumbo card binder, and a metallic coin. I'm pretty sure I got everything that's on the list. There's a lot of stuff in there. But again, we've already got like 20 other products we're supposed to buy for celebrations. It's getting a little overwhelming. This box though is slated to come out in Q4 sometime, which is only just a couple weeks away. So, so we should be getting a date soon. And it is exclusive to Amazon. The Pokemon Center exclusive celebrations ETBs also went up this last week. Wednesday definitely didn't go off without a hitch full sarcasm on that so the site was down off and on all evening all afternoon but they were releasing this in waves so at least there was like some strategy behind it it's just the bots kind of took things down still they were limiting the etbs to four per customer which seems kind of high but uh, one of the guys over in one of the discords i'm in he posted this screenshot from the customer support and it sounds like there's going to be additional waves of the celebrations etbs from pokemon center so that's really cool news and that's like directly from the support team not sure when but keep an eye on it have a tab open refresh it periodically good luck collectibles and speaking of pokemon center pokemon center north america released the next wave of their pixel pins this next wave of pixel pins features Farfetch'd, Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime, and Taros all in one bundle, so four pins in one. But we also have Drowsy and Hypno, Doduo and Dodrio, Electabuzz and Magmar, Ponyta and Rapidash, and finally we've got Cubone and Marowak. Lots and lots of Gen 1 favorites there, so this is a pretty good batch, I think. Pokemon also released the Pokemon Celebrations Commemorative Coin Set. It's a mouthful, but it features nine coins. So one for every region that we've gotten so far. There's only eight. So there's the ninth one is Pikachu. Each one of the coins features the starters from that region. And when you flip them over, it has the P25 logo. So just the Pikachu head with the two and five as the cheeks. It does run a little bit spendy though, $130 US. But in my opinion, definitely a very solid piece for a collection, especially with it being the 25th anniversary. I just think that would be really sharp. Like it's really something down the line you could say that you have and show off and people will be like, ooh, it's pretty good. Build-A-Bear has a new plush. They've been nailing it lately with the EV Lucians, but now we've got Gengar. Love all of the attention that Gengar is getting lately, but this plush is an online only bundle for now. And the bundle comes with this little, uh, little rad raincoat. So it, uh, like I said, it's an online exclusive and it runs for $53 US, which isn't really that bad in my opinion for that big old plushie plus the outfit. So are you picking this up? Let me know. The Oreo collaboration is here. Teased quite some time ago, but today, Monday, it is the day that uh, it's hitting shelves. So get out there. Also on Oreo.com, you can go and put in orders. Limit two per customer though, just heads up there. But there are 16 different cookie designs. Each one will have its own rarity. So really kind of crazy that we're seeing this whole like concept of the trading card game, but with cookies. Designs will include the Pokemon Sableye, Sandshrew, Bulbasaur, Lapras, Cyndaquil, Pikachu, Dratini, Grookey, Jigglypuff, Squirtle, Charmander, Pancham, Snivy, Piplup, Rowlet, and will also include Mew. I'm thinking about making a video. Uh, I, I do have some pre-orders in on from Oreo.com, so once they come in, I'm going to be chowing down on those things. But if you want a video on it, let me know down in the comments. I don't know how weird that's going to be, but I'm interested to see, like, could I get them all within two packs? I don't know. Let's see. The next wave of Pokemon Funkos was released. At least the pre-orders. So in this new four-pack set, we've got Dragonite. I'm also my favorite here, Pidgeotto. Let's go. Also have Caterpie. And we got the Silver Squirtle. These won't be coming out for a while, though. They are slated for November 21st, I believe. But pre-orders are up on many different sites. So down in the uh, description, I'll put some links for you guys over to GameStop and Amazon if you're interested in pre-ordering. Also, the 10-inch Charizard came out for pre-order over on Target.com. This Charizard being an exclusive to them, it did sell out very quickly, like by the time I even caught wind of it, I'm pretty sure it was r right on the butt end of being out of pre-orders. Try to tweet it out, so make sure to follow me on Twitter. As soon as I find stuff, I usually try to tweet it out. Not exactly sure if these will restock or what inventory is going to look like. It's Charizard, so it's probably going to be sold out for quite some time. But just remember, MSRP on this thing is $30. 
Over in Japan, U Treasure just came out uh, not too long ago with a uh, Gengar necklace. Had a cool little like jam on it because it was doing Shadow Ball. But this time, went a little bit more simple. We've got these rings that came out. So Gengar being Gengar, maybe he's doing Lick. Maybe he's just trying to, you know, prank you a little bit. The ring's available in a few different finishes there, as you can see. But these are a Japanese product, so you will have to import that. But pre-orders for this do end on October 5th. New Remint figures! Always love talking about the Remint figures. But here we have the new Pokemon Dream Case 4 set. Featuring Pokemon in these little, like, dream capsule Pokeball things that are kind of see-through. But a very nice selection of Pokemon here. I uh, love this, like, Galarian Zigzagoon and Pikachu one. Mimikyu being all creepy. It just kind of looks like he's, like, sleeping with his eyes open, which he probably does. And then our Gengar. Again, Gengar getting all the love, sleeping all peacefully here. This set is coming out in December in Japan, and sites like Mega Japan talk about them all the time. But they should be taking pre-orders for that soon. Usually have them for a pretty good price, so keep an eye out. And speaking of Remit figures, check out these Galar desktop figures. Talked about them. Not too long ago, but they are just about to come out, so just want to showcase them. I think they look cool. Coming to a Japanese Pokemon Center near you, we've got a new set of Pokemon plushies. So these four should be coming out here soon to the Japanese Pokemon Center. Swablu, Bidoof, Zorua, and Sinchino coming out this week. Last time they did this, they did come out in North America pretty shortly after. So if you like the look of these, maybe hold off. Maybe your patience will pay off. Or not. I don't know. It was just a hunch. I'm not trying to give you advice. I just, that's what I saw last time. More awesome things coming out in Japan though. The My Nintendo rewards are getting updated over there. And this time they're getting these phone rings of Piplup and Team Galaxy. Each one 500 platinum points each. No word on if they're gonna be releasing internationally yet, but might not be a bad idea to go run through your cartridges, go run through your games. Make sure you got all the coins and stuff from uh, buying those. Taiwan is getting their own Pokemon gaming chairs. I have no idea how to get these, but go check this out. They come in Pikachu or Jigglypuff themes, and they feature that like racing bucket seat look that all the gaming chairs do. But look at these like lumbar pillow supports. Love that like Pokeball theme to the Pikachu one. Uh, it looks like they have some pretty decent points of adjustment from the photos, like from the arms and the height and all of that stuff. But love the look of these, and definitely I'm open to purchasing one. I'm not against it. It would really, uh, really take the live stream to that, you know, that next level. And there you have it, Pokemaniacs. That is your news recap for Monday, September 13th. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today. Let me know your favorite stories down in the description. What do you got your eyes on? Be sure to check the description for links to lots of the products that we talked about today, as well as all of my social media links. Take care of each other out there, and I'm going to see you very soon on the next one.